As you know, Tim, PTC and Oxford Economics have completed a research project called Proving the Service Continuum. A big part of this project was prompted by the work that PTC is taking on with global manufacturers across the globe as they look to address how to gain a sustainable competitive advantage through services within their companies. This transformation around services is often referred to as servitization. In your book, Made to Serve, you spent years researching with an industry this concept and this exciting trend in the space. Can you describe for me the phenomena of servitization? Servitization is an interesting word. It's also a somewhat clumsy word. In this context, servitization is used to describe how manufacturing companies slowly but surely build their revenue streams around services. The phenomenon of servitization was recognized within industry around the mid to late 1990s and has grown somewhat from there. In some ways, we were just in time and lean was in the 1990s, but it's not to say it's going to take us 30 or so years to move forward, it just really represents the magnitude of the challenge that we've got ahead. This year we very much focused on the transformation of manufacturing businesses. And one of the challenges that we recognise that there is no owner of servitization inside a traditional business. What you find is that you have an interest in servitization, for example, in sales and marketing, and perhaps not being shared throughout the rest of the organization. Servitization is about the complete organizational transformation of the business, and it has to start with the CEO of that business. It is not simply about individual functions inside the business. It has to be owned by the business as a whole. Great insight and great information, Tim. Thanks again for being here today. Thank you, sir.